Hello everyone, uh, my name is Corner, and today I'm going to be doing a redstone uh, tutorial for noobs. Now basically what this is going to be is uh, how to create um, cool things with little or no experience in redstone. And even if you do have some experience, well, you might learn something you didn't already know. So I've set up a bunch of stuff here um, to help visualize what I'm talking about. So let's start by talking about the basic properties of redstone. Oh my goodness. Voice cracks are awesome. Alright, so the first thing about redstone you need to know is um, it's destroyed by water. So, torches, anything, it'll get destroyed. And because I'm in classic mode, there won't be any drops. So if I were to go like that... Oh, there still isn't a drop. Never mind, just kidding. Um, but, yeah, it gets destroyed by... Um, water, so make sure you don't make your redstone stuff around water. Second thing is, you can't place it on glass. Doesn't work. See? Um, and third thing is, it only travels 15 blocks. So if we count this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Stops right here. And that's from the power source, so whatever your power source is. And, see, I have two doors, one's, one, oh wait, actually, if I move this one, one closer, you'll see what I'm talking about here. Place that, and bam. So, that's right at the end. So, if it's at 15, you can put one away, and it'll power that, but if you put it any farther than that, it's not going to work. You can see this one's not, um, sparkling, I guess. So, 15 blocks, so keep that in mind. There are ways to extend it, but I'm not going to go into that right this moment. The second thing is you can put redstone over blocks to um, do over hazardous terrain, I guess. And it also go down blocks, too, like that. Um, if you have a block in the way, however, you'll notice it's not going through. So... Um, if you have a block on top blocking the current, see this one, there's current right here, or a wire. Um, this one, there isn't. So if you have a block blocking it, it won't work. So be careful when you're building these, if you decide to. Second thing is, you can use redstone torches right here um, to pass current through blocks. So if I turn it on, it'll reverse the state of this, and now this is powered. Or, mm, now it's not powered. So this is not outputting power, which turns this on. It's like an inverter. So whenever this is off, this will be on. Whenever this is on, this will be off. So, um, once again, I'll go into detail on that um, in the Logic Gate episode, which will be coming up. So, the second thing is um, weak and strong power. So, when I flip this switch right here, this block, which redstone, even though it doesn't look like it, takes up a whole block, um, is being strongly powered. And if I do this, that block under there will become weakly powered. So if I do this, it's weakly powered, which means it'll output power to every side of it in, um, except for diagonal. So it doesn't work. Like if I try to do that, see, it doesn't work. So it'll output power in every direction besides diagonals. So that means above, right, left, and the front. So, you can use that to power, you know, like that, pistons that I have. And the second thing is the difference between levers and buttons. Buttons, when clicked, output power for a short time. Levers are toggles. They output power until you turn them off. So, just a quick difference between that. Um, yeah. So, um, here's a setup how to power three pistons at once. Hopefully you already know how to use pistons. I hope you do. Um, because they're pretty awesome, so you should check out some videos, maybe I'll make one. But, um, all I have is a piece of redstone on top, and this on the bottom. So this lever weakly powers this block, which outputs power to this. So, or this one's strongly powered, because it's on the power source. So that's powering this one, and that goes out to that, and that goes out to that. So if I destroy that one, this block, which is strongly powered, is weakly powering this, which outputs power to that. Um, but if I take it away from that, for some reason, it doesn't work. So, oh, never mind, just kidding. 
Um, it was just that toggled state. I don't know why it does that. Um, it's just a glitch in pistons, so, yeah. So that's being strongly powered. Um, strong, but pistons don't transfer power. I forgot about that. So, a second thing is, um, how to turn off redstone torches. So if you just have one same level, lever doesn't do anything. doesn't work. You have to have it one block above, or one block under. Oh, I thought that worked. Never mind. Just kidding. That doesn't work either. It, or, um, it has to be like that. So, that's ways you can power a redstone torch. Minus that one. Don't use that one. Or that one. Those don't work. Your contraptions will not work if you do that. Oh, I think I had... Is that over there? Oh, yeah. That's over there. All right. The second thing is um, how to power vertical power. Because obviously, um, if you try to do this, you have to do a stair fashion up it, which takes up a lot of space. You don't want to do that. So what you want to do is this. So what I've got here, there are two different forms of it. I'll show that one in just a second. What I'm trying to do is power this piston right here. So what we're going to be doing is um, when this is powered, this torch stays off, um, which lets this one go on, which makes this one go off, which makes this one go on, which makes that one go off, and you can repeat that as high as you want to. Because this block is being weakly powered, which outputs power to that, which turns off, which means this one has no input, so this turns on, which powers this block, which turns that off, which doesn't power that, which turns that on, and you get the idea. So if I were to flip that, it reverses. So currently the off one is on top, that's the way I built it. So this will go to that tor uh, to that piston. When I flip it, they switch places, so you'll see. Switch places, and now that's powered. So uh, simpler, oh, and that works if it, even if it's enclosed. So even if I sealed all that up, it would still work. Um, and this one works the same way. You can work concealed. Concealed is always good. So this one is a much more compact version. This one only requires one block of a one by one space. Well, not one by one. One by whatever, however tall you want. And it's a lot simpler. So just like that. So it takes up. All right. Sorry about that. But um, anyway, when you power this, it'll power this block as shown right there. And it'll turn this off, which will let that one go on because it's not being powered. So, whoops, it's getting dark. Easy way to transfer power up. If it gets dark, it'll be perfect for this. I'll show you what that is in just a moment. So, one of the things you can learn with what I've just showed you is how to hide wiring. So, um, if this lever powers this block strongly, and then it'll transmit weak power to this, um... And that'll power this all the way up. So if I flip that, it powers that. And this can be good for hiding wiring for pistons. So what I did is pretty simple. I'm sure from looking at it, you can figure it out if you've been following this video. So pretty easy. And um, another thing you can do is, uh, let me talk about repeaters here for a minute. So basically repeaters delay redstone current. So I'll show you real quick over here. If I put this down and crank it. So when it's in this position, it'll delay it for point or 0.1 milliseconds, 0.2, 0.3, 0.4. And that's all. So if you want more, you have to add more repeaters together in a line like such. Or not in a line. You can do this method to curving. So when I add power to this, you see the current delaying. So instead of just going all the way through instantly, it takes a little bit to get through. So that's helpful in instances such as a time door, where you don't want this door to open right when you press the button. So we'll press the button, you'll see the current going long. Almost there, and bam, your door opens. And the, block actu the door actually takes up these two blocks um, even though it only looks like it takes up half the block. So, um, Now, one of the coolest things you can do with um, what I've just showed you is build a redstone 
um, arrow, flashing arrow. So what I've done here is I put two repeaters, so both delay for um, four tenths of a millisecond, or not four tenths of a millisecond, four tenths, or point four milliseconds is what I'm trying to say. No, point four tenths. Yes, you get the idea. Forty milliseconds. So each one, you know, delays it by um, 10 milliseconds. I don't know what I said earlier, but it's 10 milliseconds, 20 milliseconds, 30, 40. So, pretty easy. And what I've done here is just build a little timer. So when I toggle that real fast, it'll just keep pulsing until I break one of the redstone. And this can be helpful for powering little arrows like this, which is pretty cool. Um, and then let me show you how to do this real quick. Sorry about that, I was interrupted again. Um, my family members have no respect for recording videos. So, um, basically what it's set up as is uh, 20 milliseconds, 10 milliseconds, 0 milliseconds, 10, 20. So, pretty simple, and just a little clock. So if you flip it, it puts out a little arrow. So, thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something, as this is the goal for um, this series. Um, please leave a like and or comment, or both, that'd be pretty awesome. And subscribe if you like Minecraft content, because I do put out a lot of Minecraft content. Um, almost every week, pretty much. Um, and I also take requests for videos, so if you had trouble with something, I would be happy to help you with it. So, next episode is uh, Logicate, so please come back for that, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.